This is Dave Gleason, Chief Horticulturist for Domex Superfresh Growers. Today we're going to see how modern orchards are planted. In the past, people planted orchards with very few trees per acre, and it takes limbs to grow fruit, so they'd have to wait for the limbs to grow on the trees. There might be only 50 to 100 trees per acre. Those trees were spaced very far apart. It was a pleasant place to work. It was park-like, and yet not very efficient and it also took a long time to get very much production. These days, modern orchards are planted with lots of trees per acre. We're putting them very close together. We're planting them at densities of 1,000 to 2,000 trees per acre. That gives us a lot of wood, a lot of limbs in the first two or three years, and we come into production very quickly. The other thing that it does is that it makes things much more efficient. Trees are close together, trees are much shorter, they're safer to work with, we need uh, much less ladder work, and for our workers too, it's a better place to work. We use an implement behind the tractor that plows the ground open. There are several guys on the platform, one who is placing the trees carefully in the open ditch. Then there's two blades that pull the soil back in against the roots, and two rollers that compact the soil around the tree. We use a 230 horse John Deere tractor that has a GPS guidance system. Uh, everything is guided by satellites. There's a, a satellite receiver in the field that gives us a very accurate signal. The tractor, once it's on its line, keeps itself within an inch or so of that particular line. Well, once the trees are in the ground, there's a lot of details that have to be put in in order to make the trees successful. One of the first things we try to do is to get irrigation in the ground. We live in a desert. If we don't water these trees, they're going to die. They're going to die fast. So our goal is to be watering the trees within four days after they're planted in the ground. After that mm -hmm. is putting trellis in. We put in posts and wires. Uh, one of the things that happens when you put trees close together is you're producing a lot of weight on small structures and those structures aren't large enough or strong enough to carry the crop load that they'll carry, that they'll bear. So we put posts and wire in to train the trees too, but to give the tree support so that it won't break when it's carrying a full load. After we plant the trees, of course, we want to get them into production. It takes a little time. By fifth to sixth year, we'll be hopefully at full production. This has been Dave Gleason with Domex Superfresh Growers. Thank you for watching. If you'd like more information, check out our website at superfreshgrowers.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter.